Understanding that there are ebbs and flows in games. I mean, what was, uh, in your estimation, the defensive turnaround, I guess, from the first half to the second half where you came out and you were more able to get some stops? Well, we were more physical. Um, I thought in the first half we cut some corners. We weren't um, on bodies and, and they could go where they wanted to go and it was easy. Steve, obviously the lack of continuity has been discussed at length, but is there anything that concerns you more than other things with the defense right now? You know, it's really, it comes down to how much edge we play with. You know, in Miami, we play with a lot of edge. Against Utah, the best offense in the league, play with a lot of edge. You know, I think when we play with edge, we're a much better team defensively. When we take our foot off the gas a little bit, you know, we're, we're not good enough just to roll out there and, and shut people down. And Nick, I think, has missed just two shots total since the Utah game. I mean, just is, is this production-wise about as good of a stretch as he's had? <laughs> yeah, I think Nick's played play great. You know, he's been really active defensively. He's... He's been really good, and uh, he's been finishing in the paint, you know, at a at a really high level. So, really proud of his development. Coach, uh, well, where where would you, I guess, assess Kyrie's conditioning now that he's got two games as a full time player? Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I think he's getting better, and uh, you know, starting to kind of get his his feet back under him and feel more comfortable out there in longer stretches. Steve, you mentioned that defensive edge. What do you have to do to find it more consistently? <laughs> I do not know the answer to that. I'm not sure your opinion on it, but does does that messaging have to almost come from inside the locker room? I mean, in terms of player leadership at this point? I mean, it's always most effective uh, when it's player-led. You know, that's that's the most way they're going to hear me say it over and over every day. When they push each other for more, um, you know, you'll see the defense improve. So uh, we're going to stay on them. We'll stay working at it. But uh, I think there is an element to it that is when they decide that they're going to defend and do it uh, internally, you know, they'll, they'll be exponentially better than, you know, if they have to listen to me every day. Coach, uh, kind of circling back to Kyrie, did he get a lot of the looks that he wanted and they just didn't fall, or was it something that Detroit was doing? I imagine that a lot of the shots that he took, he probably may have made in different games. Yeah, I thought he had a few in and outs. He had two layups that were in and out. Um, he makes those two, he shoots 50%. So I think it's just, you know, sometimes it's just luck. The ball didn't fall for him at times tonight. Otherwise, you know, he makes two layups and one jumper's in and out, and, you know, he's well over 50%. Okay, thank you. Great. Thanks, guys.